Medtronics Pharmaceuticals is focused on identifying and developing candidates that have the promise to treat and prevent human disease and alleviate suffering. And currently, the pipeline is primarily comprised of central nervous system, immunology, and COVID-19 product candidates. And with me is CEO Seth Letterman. Welcome back. Thank so, you for having me, yes, Jane. Yes, of course. So you just announced your uh, financial results. Can you summarize those? Yes, we had a strong quarter and we've had a strong year. Most of our progress has been in the COVID space where we have a vaccine, an antiviral, a uh, skin test, and also a treatment for long COVID. Wow. So those have all progressed pretty rapidly, but we also had strong financial reports. Uh -huh. So we have $183 million at the end of the quarter, which is the strongest cash position we've ever been in as a company. Can you go into detail about some of the COVID treatments? Because I know we've talked about the vaccine and everything you've been working on. What is an update on each of those? Thank you. <sighs> the lead program is the vaccine. Mm -hmm. While it's been remarkable to see the uh, impact that the mRNA vaccines have had on COVID, time has also shown that they have significant limitations. The biggest limitation is the short duration of protection. Mm -hmm. And we believe that our vaccine, we call it TNX 1800, which is a live virus vaccine, will have durable protection. Mm -hmm. We think that's a big advantage. Sure. I mean, it's one thing to get a booster after six months, right. but it's gonna be pretty tiresome for March of 2022, say, and October of 2022, right. and March of 2023. Yeah. So I just don't know if it can go on forever. Mm. So live virus vaccines have been shown to confer durable immunity and that's what we're testing and we think that with the variants coming out and the uh, winter coming a lot of problems are surfacing with COVID. i would like to be optimistic but in my job i think you know we really uh have to keep vigilant better safe sense. than sorry yeah. unfortunately right so we had talked about i think next year was a target day for clinical trials yes Is that still on track yes Yes. And then a treatment as well. Yes, we're working on an antiviral treatment. Uh, we call it TNX 3500. And while we're very excited by Pfizer's results and Merck and Ridgeback's results, uh, we're still not out of the woods. So uh, ours has, as far as we can tell, a completely different mechanism from the Pfizer and the Merck uh, uh, therapies. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and also from Gilead's approved therapy, which is called remdesivir. Yeah. So, so far we've only compared ours to remdesivir in tissue culture, but ours is more than 60 times more potent than remdesivir in tissue culture, but importantly, they work together. So the two of them together means you can use lower doses of each of them. And that's an important concept in antiviral therapy. So we're very excited about this yeah. program. Um, and then finally, just I mean, what are some of the near-term catalysts for tonics? The near-term catalysts for us are a lot of studies starting. Mm. We also have a treatment for cocaine intoxication mm. that will be going into a phase two study. And then in next year, we will be starting, in the first half of next year, we'll be starting a long COVID study and, um, and, and some other studies. But, okay. but in our COVID program, a lot going on. I feel like we're gonna be doing a lot of interviews next year. I Seth, hope so. so yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for the update. Thank you for uh -huh. having me on. Thanks.